Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a wireless survey manually or longhand. So the first thing is a little review. Uh, we want to make sure we have our goals spelt out. Out of the blue, one of my clients asked for a wireless site survey and this happens quite a bit. So I didn't have any tools with me and I thought it'd be helpful to show him the longhand version of doing this using whatever he had available. So we reviewed what we had to work with and here's what we came up with. We had a Cisco 11 40 AP running in autonomous mode. We had a Samsung Galaxy smartphone and we had a laptop running Windows 8. So this is not something that you know you'd have to go out and buy. You probably have stuff like this walking around. The key here is to make sure you have an access point that is manageable, right? That's the key here. I explained that in this case I would work from the access points perspective since it's manageable using my Samsung as the client. And I'm gonna get into that in just another second, all right? So just hold on. What we need to do, so we have to collect and record the information. And we have a diagram of the floor plan. And this could be a simple drawing. You could just do it in PowerPoint or just scribble on a screen. It doesn't matter. Or you can take a photo. You know, in the stairwell, you have that photo of the floor plan, right, for your fire escape. So that's always nice to just go and pilfer. I mean, take a picture of it. Don't actually rip it off the wall. Excel or any other spreadsheet application. So we can put all of our stats in there. And we have iPerf from Google's Play, and it's free. Right, so you just download that and iPerf for your Windows client, which is also free and that's where you go get it from. And you can just Google iPerf if you like. Lastly, we want a Microsoft Telnet client. So we can use Telnet or if you want to use SSH, use SSH or web browser, whatever you need to do to get to the access point. And since the access point is not connected to the production network, Telnet is fine. I know I could just see the emails flying in already. Everybody's like, it's Telnet, it's not secure. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. So we used default settings in autonomous mode and all we did was add an IP address. And this is key. I wanted to leave everything default. I didn't want to tweak anything. And lastly, notepad. And you'll see why in just a moment. So a little bit about the layout. Here's the laptop connected to the switch, connected to the access point, Wi-Fi to the phone. The phone's the server and the laptop's the client. And this is really important you understand why I'm doing this. I'm recording things from the access point's perspective because I want to record how well it hears the phone. Chances are, and I'm going to just generalize here, so I'm going to go out on a limb. Chances are the phone is going to hear the access point no problem. The access point probably has a better radio and better antenna or antennas compared to the phone. So I'm more concerned about documenting the lowest common denominator, which is the phone. You can also record the stats from the phone if you'd like as well, but in this case I'm not going to bother. So here's a screenshot from the phone, and I ran iPerf. When you hit the on button, it tells you up here, it tells you the IP address. Actually, even before you hit the on button, it'll tell you the IP of the phone. And that's how you know. So you don't have to go digging around too much. Uh, I did a little note. Uh, you're going to do this dash S on the phone. It's going to be the server. And in my case, every time I did a test, the on button uh, turned off. So I had to go hit on every single time I did a test, which isn't a big deal. Just something you should be aware of so you don't start slamming your laptop up against the wall when it doesn't work. And now we have a laptop. And the methodology on the laptop is quite simple. I'm going to ping the phone to keep it awake. Some of these phones have power saving and then, you know, they drop off the wireless network to conserve power, that kind of thing. So I just started a continuous ping. That's all I did. And in my notepad, I typed all the commands I'm going to use in the Cisco access point to get the signal statistics. The reason why I did that is in the next step, I'm just going to copy and paste this to my Telnet client. All right. You don't need to do it this way. It's just what I did. And there's my two screenshots of what I was talking about. Over here, we've got our floor plan. I identify the areas of interest. The access point is down here in the bottom left. And I've got my three areas that I want to document. And this is important. You just give it a little letter. It's not doesn't have to be fancy. And from the laptop, uh, we're going to Telnet, copy and paste those commands, and we're going to record the signal stats. And from the laptop, I'm going to do an iPerf to the phone as well. And repeat five times. And I always do five times because it's wireless, right? One moment it's good, the next moment it's not. And you throw all of that stuff into Excel. After you've got it all in Excel, then it's easy. You can present your data, a little chart if you like, or you can do a fancy dandy graph and look all fancy dandy and impress your friends and family. All right. And that's it. So in this particular case, you can see the um, average RSSI was comparable, right? And then the SNR, right? And this is this is actually this is a very good point. You can see here B is yellow, A is orange, C is white. So that's not a good color in you know retrospect. So you might want to pay attention to stuff like that. And obviously there's better ways to do this with tools, but when you don't have anything else, this is how you do it manually. And even if you have tools, you can compare it against your manual process. 
That's it, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.